The disloyalty of the Serbian neighbor. From the district of Pia. My Serbian neighbor, before our side got involved in the war, one morning, opened the courtyard door and called his brother and said, we will not confuse the neighborhood, regardless of how the situation develops. The brother begged her to come in, as usual, because we were first neighbors, but he refused on the grounds that he was busy. This happened a week before the NATO intervention in Kosovo, but this does not mean that we trusted him. This is how we agreed with the Serbian neighbor, that whatever army enters the village, we will protect each other. Someone said that he, our neighbor in the 40s, was in the Serbian paramilitary formations, but we had not seen him get confused in those ranks. On April 3, 1999, at about 11 pm, he knocked on our door, along with eight other paramilitaries. Three were masked, six others without masks. The brother left the house quickly, through the broken wall of the Albanian neighbor, behind the house that led to the nearby grove, while I and the other two younger sisters, together with my aunt, stayed at home. One of the sisters ran to ask the Serbian neighbor for help, according to his promises to protect us, but from his house, no one answered. The paramilitaries went inside and demanded weapons, and after being convinced that there was no such thing in the house, they sat down in the room and asked for coffee. Looking for coffee, he went out into the hallway and shouted as loud as he could, because he as supposedly had found something suspicious. I said, should I go out? And he shouted, you exactly. I went out into the hallway, and from there, he grabbed my hand and dragged me to the other bedroom. I immediately understood that it was our neighbor who had promised security, but he immediately said, if you object, I will kill you and he immediately prepared the pistol, which he called Scorpion. He insisted that I undress myself, but I refused. He told me that this will be transient and no one will understand what happened. Then he told me that we do not know each other, and that he was allegedly from Nis. I knew his voice 100%, but I was afraid to tell him that this is you, near our house, because he would kill me. I did not want to submit to him, and I started to oppose him. He shouted loudly and tied my hands with handcuffs behind my back and started undressing me very coldly. He told me that to you Albanians, only strength and fear come to you. He stripped me naked. I shivered and started crying out loud. In such a state he raped me in the room for 40 minutes. Many paramilitaries came out in the hallway during that time to observe the situation, and I am convinced they knew what was going on in our house. I vinte era alk. He got up and, after getting dressed, untied my hands. He went to the paramilitary room and asked to leave the house. Everyone has said that if a man is found here, we will kill him like a dog, and that from now on, they said, we will come back to relax whenever they need to. If you flee, we will kill you, we were told. As soon as they left the house, we got dressed and left the house, staying in the grove all that cold April night. The sisters and aunt said how much they had not raped them, during that time they had raped me, but had said they would come back in two hours to rape the rest of us. I was told what had happened to me in the other room. Both the sisters and the aunt had realized that the perpetrator was our neighbor, who had left the village, exactly in the days of the entry of NATO troops. They saw him running away, without taking anything from his house. I do not believe he will return to Kosovo. If I meet him again, I will take revenge on him. I swore that I did not forgive him, says L.G. 23 from the district of Peak.